It is time to leak again, and I have a nuclear leak for you. Stay tuned for more within this leak because I'll also be leaking something that is not in the TCG, not in the physical TCG card game that is also going to be in addition to what I'm leaking to you here today. Are you ready? Three, two, one, Hajime. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Among these meta impactful decks, among the TCG and OCG on Yu-Gi-Oh! Meta.com, I could see what I am leaking, and what I am leaking to you today is... Fire King! Fire King is coming in the June pack. If you look in the last month, it's a top three deck in the TCG. In the OCG, it's a top two deck. It is a new great way to play Fire King with Snake Eye. Yeah, so let's see some footage here and some good stuff. Now, there also is a way to play Pure Fire King, but unfortunately the Pure Fire King requires an OCG exclusive card like the Alcanics. So otherwise, in the TCG, it's not really been doing much. It's kind of been crappy. So let's see some footage and what's good with Snake Eye Fire King. Let's go. So thank you, Alexordio del Dulista. What's the new way to play Snake Eye? Y'all can see this uh, clearly and done. Okay, Ash gets negated. Bonfire grabs the Poplar. Poplar triggers some itself onto the field here. Nicely done, adding the original Sinful. Mask Arena, we're going to be triggering the Poplar. Set up the Ash. Now we're gonna summon a Ponyx. Ponyx on summon's gonna be searching our deck for a Fire King spell slash trap. That's gonna be the new part of playing Snake Eye. Now we're gonna activate this card to play a field spell, the Fire King Island. We're gonna then be setting up the Promethean Princess. We're gonna be popping a fire to search our deck for a Fire King new card, which will be the Fire King High Garunix. We're also triggering the Kirin in the graveyard, which has been semi-limited in OCG due to being so good, to reborn a monster from the graveyard, and also it pops a card in the field if there were a card to get popping with. So the High King Garunix on summon will be triggered because of a fire card being destroyed. So you destroy a fire card to search it and then it triggers off of that fire card you destroyed even though it's searched for afterward. And it works in the hand or in the graveyard. Now on summon, we're gonna destroy a card from the deck. We're gonna destroy a Fire King monster here which will trigger to reborn a monster from the grave. We're gonna be using Promethean Princess to reborn the Ash, making the Sound Man Great Wolf. Let's come forth and summon from the deck our Flame Burst, trigger the Wolf to grab back the Kirin, which has the quick effect to pop a card you control during your opponent's turn, so it can help trigger some card effects here. We got the Amblo Whale. Now, what's better about regular Snake Eye versus this? Well, let's see what it could do. We're playing against Rescue Ace. Impulse, we're gonna be using the Flame Burst to summon the Mascarina. We're gonna be using the Kirin to also pop the Flame Burst to summon itself onto the field. So Flame Burge being popped, also the Mask Arena being summoned to the back row, trigger the Flame Burge, come forth and summon from the graveyard. Now the Garunix is also being triggered off of you destroying the Flame Burge to summon itself from the graveyard to then pop a monster from your deck. Get ready for that. And uh, a lot of you could be like, oh my gosh, there's a lot of special summoning. Well, this is a top tier deck in the OCG, even with Max C. So this is not a case where, oh, another deck that loses to Max C. No, this may very likely be the new best way to play Snake Eye, as it is better than regular Snake Eye with an OCG. All right, trigger the Garunix to get pop in. We are going to veil over their monster. We're also going to chain the Mascarina to get Lincoln. Link into the Little Knight as we then pop a Kirin from the deck. That will be triggering the Kirin. Kirin, when popped, is going to be reborn from the graveyard, then pop a card in the field. Little Knight is also banishing on its summon. So let's get rid of that. Reborn, and you could pop on the summon off of the Kirin triggered effect. Now, we also have the Fire King Arvata, which will be able to destroy a fire monster in order to negate a monster effect. So it gives even more disruption. Get negating. All right, we're gonna use the Little Knight to chain banish their opposing monster as the Garunix is negating and destroying the Hydrant. We're gonna trigger the Promethean to pop the Amble Whale to come forth and summon itself in the graveyard. Amble Whale will trigger, reborning the Sunlight Wolf in the grave. They're going to not be done. They're gonna keep on returning four cards back in the deck. Come forth and summon Diablo Star after drawing into an Imperm. We're going to, whoa, Typhon, Typhon. It's not coming, it's still not coming. I was not baiting you, it's just not coming. It's still not coming. We're gonna be using the effect to spin back the Promethean back in the extra deck, taking out Arvanto when destroyed, reborn from the grave, but then destroyed during the end phase. 
We have the Sunlight being returned alongside the Little Knight. Flip up, come forth and make a Nahida. We have the Sunlight Wolf being triggered to return a card back into the extra deck, not just our hand. We're going to then be summoning the Oak, reborn the Ponix. Ponix searching for this Fire King quick play spell, which will destroy your Fire Kings to destroy an equal amount of cards in the field. That's pretty cool. We're going to be making the SP Little Knight that was returned back in the extra deck, reborn the Flame Burst, making the Amble Whale. We're going to be banishing the original Sinful to then search for a Snake Eye Ash, wiping out the Typhon. To battle we go. And just like that, lethal damage. Wow. Now, what if you wanted to play this with pure Fire King in case maybe Snake Eye is going to be heavily hit by the ban list? Maybe they may ban a card like Oak, some people are saying. We, maybe the Ash is going to be limited to one. Maybe something else will get further restricted. Let's see one card Fire King combo. Again, thanks to El Exordio Duelista. One card, one disrupt. Uh, you know, it's not that great, but it's a follow-up 16,000 damage. Searching for the field spell setup. We're gonna set up the field spell, pop the onyx, grab Garunix trigger to come forth and summon itself onto the field, which will then pop a Barong from the deck, and then that will trigger during the next standby phase. And the continuous spell has this cool effect of being able to exceed during the opponent's turn. So get ready for that. Barong is searching with the Kirin. Onyx is gonna be adding back to the hand. We're gonna normal summon. We're gonna chain Kirin to pop the Ponix to summon. Okay, we have two level eights. Now they special summoned. That's gonna trigger the continuous spell to exceed during their turn into destroy all other monsters in the field on summon. Wipe the field. Wow, and then uh, you have lethal damage follow up, which you'll see the rest of within this video. Uh, just to gain an extra 500 attack, sure, ba boost, and uh, Circle of the Fire King, not everyone's really playing that, but that's fine. Come forth, reborn, uh-huh. Pop from the deck, trigger, reborn. Pop on the field, come forth and summon. Lethal damage. You don't even need the Circle of the Fire King for game, but uh, it's even more damage. So there you go. Uh, that gets popped. That also reborns for another attack. Very cool. So that is Fire King. And as for the Fire King Consort, Ulconix. She's coming. She is coming. She is coming with Fire King. If this card is normal or special summon, you can destroy one other fire monster in your hand or face up. If you do, add one fire beast, beast warrior, or wing beast from your deck to your hand. Also, if this card is destroyed in sense of the graveyard, you could special summon a fire king high avatar Garunix from your deck in defense. You can only use each effect once per turn. What does her being played in the deck look like? So in the OCG stats, since it is TOCG exclusive at the moment, it is played in half of the Snake Eye Fire King decks. It's 100% in the pure Fire King decks. So if Snake Eye gets completely annihilated by the ban list, we have pure Fire King for the way to play her. Now I'm gonna show you a combo with her where you have her plus any other fire card in your hand like an Ash Blossom. Let's see how that looks. So thank you Leo D Gaming for the combo of what to do with the consort. Summon, get popping. I mean, I think their computer's a bit laggy here, huh? The Ponix triggered because the fire card was destroyed. Special summon itself onto the field, even though we already used up our normal summon. Setting up with the field spell setup. Field spell is going to be popping a card on the field or hand to grab the Garunix. Garunix will trigger to special summon. And then she's triggering to summon the High King from the deck. And then the Garunix will be popping in our Bata from the deck to then reborn from the grave the Consort, making the Sunlight Wolf to recycle a card in the graveyard back to her hand, the Ponix. A lot of people, I think, were popping the Kirin instead from the deck, not the Arbata, but this is another way to play it, just an example. And let's go. So they're going to activate, we're going to Arvata negate by popping the Amble Whale. Amble Whale will reborn from the graveyard, the Link Karibo, and then the Garunix in the graveyard will trigger to reborn from the grave because a fire monster was destroyed. Garunix will then destroy a card from the deck, which will be the Kirin, right? Kirin will then trigger to reborn a fire from the grave, then pop a card in the field if we want to, optionally. And we are taking them out. We also have the Consort being back in the field, searching for the quick play that pops multiple cards in the field. We are going to then use the Promethean Princess off the special summon, reborn, get pop in, and there you go. That is what the deck do in pure Fire King. So you have pure Fire King with the new OCG exclusive and possibly the new best way to play Snake Eye Fire King. Let's look at both decklists real quick. This is what pure Fire King will look like. TCG we're not going to look at because they're not playing it with uh, the uh, Alcanics at the moment. And then Snake Eye Fire King, this is the way to play that in the OCG with uh, not everyone playing the Alcanics, but a lot of them are playing it because she's really good with your normal summon. All right, there you go. There you go.